up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media. And let me get straight to the gaming news, because this is pretty interesting news. Uh, Triple Triad, Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, and Mechanical Apartheid registered uh, by Square Enix. And basically they registered this uh, in the UK and a couple other places where Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, and Mechanical Apartheid may be uh, even more intriguing. The term Apartheid indicates law enforcement racial segregation system that is used to exist in South Africa. Uh, basically, they, they go ahead and they, they registered all this other good stuff, and one of our representatives made a statement saying, I want to leave you with a piece of concept art for our next generation day of sex game, which shows uh, transhumanism segregation, which is a backdrop to our vision for the next day of sex. It represents a ghetto city voluntarily built in order to separate the classes. Yeah. Racism in video games. That's exactly what we need. More racism in video games. Now, don't tell me I'm fucking wrong. Okay, you can't play any of these multiplayer games online without hearing an M bomb drop like 80,000 times and people just arguing about it. It's already fucking racism in video games, okay? But now we get to experience it even more with a whole game about racism. I'm trying to escape real life, not live real life. I don't know. I wish them all the best. I do like the DSX games. I'm probably going to go ahead and play it. I mean, hopefully, if I end up feeling bad about it, like, damn you! Ugh. This is going to be interesting. This is fucking gonna be interesting. I'm not gonna get into this because I know a lot of people are gonna be like, racism in video games is real, Mike. Okay, play a game for 20 minutes and hear it, see if you don't hear it. Just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, moving on from that news, PlayStation 4 has a thousand indie developers and uh, Xbox only has 250. Now, a lot of people think this is not a big deal, but it kinda is a big deal when you look at how many more IPs they're gonna have compared to the Xbox One. Um, basically, uh, over the next year, PlayStation 4 is going to have 100 games that's going to come out this year. It's guaranteed to launch this year. And, uh, you know, they came out and they made a statement saying, we really reached, uh, we recently reached a significant milestone with more than 1,000 developers licensed globally to self-publish on our platforms. 200 of those licensed in North America since the PlayStation 4 has been available in 2013. Um, yeah, that's a shitload of fucking games. And a lot of people think that it doesn't matter to have any developers on your fucking team. But yes, it does matter. Because you get cool games like Child of Light, which is going to come out on a lot of other platforms too. But when you have more developers, you have new IPs, unlike Call of Duty every fucking year. Or a new Assassin's Creed every fucking year. Come on now. Talk about milking a fucking game for all it's fucking worth. I'm getting sick and tired of it. This last one was a fucking abomination. It just fucking was. Okay, uh, Microsoft only has 250 on their team, and they said that they have uh, 25 indie games that are set to release on the Xbox One sometime soon. Guaranteed, sometime soon. Whenever the fuck we get around to it. Okay, they have a lot of stringent rules where you have to have all these fucking things set up, and this is a fucking hot mess. They need to fucking stop being dicks, allow people to come on to their fucking team so they can have more IPs. Cause Microsoft, cause Sony doesn't have, they have more IPs than Microsoft does. They just do. They fucking do. Everybody fucking knows it. Anyone who denies that is just ignorant. Ignorant. Look it up. They have all these IPs on Sony's side, and they have this many IPs on the Xbox side. They just do. Okay? They just fucking do. And if they want to get newer IPs and fresh ideas, they might want to go, go ahead and, you know, sign up more people. You know what I'm saying? So you get cool games like Journey and shit. You just might want to fucking do it. Uh, moving on from that news, uh, get ready to get screwed over. Uh, supply constraints, uh, you know, for PlayStation 4 camera, uh, are back in stock on Amazon, uh, coming tomorrow at GameStop is gonna be overpriced by $10. So basically, uh, people can't get a PlayStation Eye camera, they wanna have it for, you know, the eye, the uh, eye room, or whatever the fuck they call that damn room, it's pretty damn nice. Um, you know, and they want to play just dance games and all this other random shit with it, uh, from the playroom and all this other crazy shit. And basically, uh, it's been supply constraints placed on the console since the release of the console. And now they're finally starting to come back in stock. You can get some, uh, at Amazon and all these other good places. But if you want to get one from GameStop and you can go to the actual page and I'm going to post it right here for you, you're going to have to pay $10 more than it actually fucking worth. Now, no one knows why they're so fucking stupid and why they like to fuck you in the ass. But yes, it's pretty much their habit. It's pretty much their habit. It's bad enough they screw you when you trade in games. But now they want to screw you on shit that they know is priced at a certain point. They'll go, let's go over it because we know people want to buy it. Power to the players. Power to the players. That's all the news I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so you'll know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll holler at y'all later.